I want to give you access to what life is like for a player during this time. I want to share with you how we live, how we train, and how we adjust to what I like to call the life of a lockout. What's up, man? Uh, life of a lockout. We're here in Utah. Got guys from Fautahi from the Vikings. We got old vets, uh, Edwin Mulitalo. Obviously, we got the big man, Halote Nata. Got a lot of uh, fullbacks, running backs, center with Marvin. And uh, basically, uh, we're just doing a little workout, so we'll let you see how it's done. High altitude training, Polynesian style. I just want to be on the life of the lockout, so I told Shannon to come here today so I can be on it. Stay tuned. Family's my motivation, I just lay it on the line for them. All I want to do is do my job and grind for them. I ain't half stepping, never looking for a handout. Nothing comes for free, so every minute of this lockout, I'ma keep it moving. Warriors never snoozing. Master of my craft, that's why I'm never losing. Struggle develop character, sympathy, I'm fresh out. I'll show you what I'm about in this life of a lockout. I'm a warrior, my blood justifies my position, forged by ancestors. Ancestors and divine intervention Never made mention of the struggles made to make it All I know is I'm here now and every step that I'm taking Is backed by the power of thousands of Polynesians Past, present, and the future See my family's the reason Left the warm weather to contest with four seasons the only How's the workouts coming along? It's good it's, it's tough It's good though I like it It's hard <laughs> It's a lot better when it's hard because you feel better after. <sighs> that workout was hard for me, but I don't know anybody that doesn't sweat during the workout. <laughs> He's the called, only guy I know that don't sweat during the workout. Hey, it's called conser I'm conserving my water. I'm like a desert. <laughs> I conserve look at, water. Look at everybody else's shirt. Everybody else's shirt is all soaked, and this dude don't even sweat. Hey, <laughs> that's regular. Hey. <laughs> I'm conservative, man. I'm like a camel. I don't know what the big fuss about is this lockout. I've been locked out for two years. So, uh, you want to do a film about that? You know, come talk to me. Two years I've been locked out trying to get back in. Today we at East High School just put together a camp for the kids. <laughs> Make sure they put all putting this together. So, it's here to support. Really good. Our kids coming, you know, take advantage of the opportunity to learn from us and uh, just come and have fun. A lot of kids showed up, so we're looking forward to having a, you know, a good time today with the kids. Great turnout, we got a lot of kids, so it'll be a lot of fun today. Uh, can I get everybody's attention here real quick? Hey, we, uh, we just want to thank everybody for coming. I think we tripled what we expected that we'll have today, but don't worry, we'll take care of you. If you have a t-shirt, you don't. Uh, we'll have lunches and stuff for the kids and campers. So, love to have you. Thank you. We're having great weather. Uh, thank you for our sponsors and everybody being here. And uh, we'll get started shortly. Thank you. All right, put in your lines, in your lines, in your lines, in your lines, in your lines. In your lines, in your lines, in your lines. Everybody in your lines? Running backwards. Hey, man, it's all for the kids, man. You see a lot of kids turning out. Coming out here, uh, this, is the, this is the biggest part right here. All the family members, man. You know, it's all about parents and stuff coming to watch the kids, have a great time. That's what it's all about. The reason why we had you guys help out with the younger kids is because that's what it's, it's called. It's the rotation. It's basically, the you got to look out for the ones that are younger than you. And that's why we all came back. We're looking out for the ones that are younger than us. So make sure you lead the little kids in the right way, just like you guys did this morning. Not only on the football field, you see the little kids, uh, you know, in elementary and stuff, help them to make great choices, just like we're coming back to help you guys with great choices. Hey, again today, great habits, right? <laughs> do everything you do, just do it 100%. We'll make this short. We'll have a lot of competition. We're going to have a lot of fun. And O linemen, you better watch out because we're coming. Let's get a break on three and divide in your positions. Here we go. Hey, hey, it's all about getting great today, man. Hey, hey, guess what? Everybody who want to be average, they jet skiing and they're doing all that stuff. We want to be great here. Right? Great on three. One, two, three. Great. Hey, go. 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 Go.
I know my kids was excited when I told them last night that the NFL players were here. I brought his friend along because, you know, they were excited just to, to know that they get to meet some players. So it's, it's a great thing. I, I think it's a great thing that these guys are, are putting in their time to give back to the kids. Jump! Go! A lot of kids don't get a chance to even be involved in many of the camps because they're really super expensive and they don't have a lot going on for them. It actually gives football kind of an aloha feel. You come to this camp, it's real kickback and it makes football fun. It's, it's about, you know, it's about what the game is about. It's family. They, they invite everybody to come out here. It's not real closed. It's not real militant. And, and the kids just enjoy themselves and have a really good time. Everybody having fun? Yeah! Yeah! We got about 1,400 kids uh, today, man. And uh, as you can tell, I think everybody's having a great time. Now we're getting down and, and uh, down and dirty with the high school kids, showing them the uh, techniques and stuff like that. Everybody's loving it, bro, and um, a lot of good help, a lot of good excitement. That's what it's all about, man. Leading the kids to the positive way, bro. So uh, it's 8 in the morning on July 4th, and uh, we actually uh, are having a walk to support Spinal Bifida and also the Huntsman Cancer Institute. So we had a great turnout today, man. We got about 300 people uh, for a first year thing. It's pretty good. So Bula actually matched every contribution that was made today to donate to these two charities. And as you can see, people are out here just to have a great time, support, and uh, you know, get a little exercise in. So we got a couple groups here. We got the EMZ crew, who is ours, uh, you know, always great supporters of great health. Moses and Kaylee Kinney Kinney, Team Gray, and uh, it's a great turnout, man. So My niece has spina bifida, so that's one of the charities where we're helping out today. So it's cool. It's like extra, extra incentive for me to you know, help out my somebody really close to me, my family. So it's cool. Get out and do that. <laughs> Currently, I, I found this race on the internet, and I saw that they were raising money for Huntsman Cancer Institute, and right now my mother's uh, fighting breast cancer, and so I decided I wanted to come out. When I got here, um, I saw a guy wearing a spina bifida shirt, so I went up and I talked to him just to come to find out that uh, they were also raising money for the spina bifida. I had a brother who was raised in, had spina bifida for his entire life. He passed away about 10 years ago at age 23. If this was the only thing going on, I think I'd be happy with just uh, the 5K walk for these two charities, uh, but in the event, it's a great thing to start off with. It's a great way to start the day, and it's a great way to set the tone about what Bula is all about, uh, what I'm all about, and what everybody here is all about. So, I heard some music that I've never heard before in Utah. So we walked over, and I'm like, if we took a picture of this, a postcard, and we said this was Utah, nobody would believe us. So you know, I'm just loving it right now because it's like it's a nice vibe, it's a nice feel, and. People seem to be having fun, so that's the most important thing. Hey, Sione, I'd like to thank you for this, putting this on, you know, bringing some culture into Utah. I mean, that's what we need. We need a lot more of it, especially you've got some amazing talent out there, and nobody believes that they're local. It's kind of nice to have, like, uh, you know, an, a platform for singers and performers to be able to perform to their own people and everything. So I hope you do it every year. I hope it picks up. I mean, it's huge right now. All the TV shows, everything, all the cameras, let them come to see what's going on here in Utah. So thanks very much for it, man. We appreciate you supporting Utah. Well, we're here for July. You know, we're here representing Pula. Just come here, have a good time, enjoy ourselves, and have a good 4th of July. What's up, man? Uh, it's Kawa. I'm over here at uh, Bula Fest over here, and uh, I'm drinking Bula, man. It really does relax you. Uh, you know what I mean? Don't underestimate it. <laughs> and shout out to Bula. You know what I mean? Keep doing your thing. Sione Puha is the consummate professional, consummate businessman. Put this thing together in 10 weeks. Got the best corporate staging company to do all the, the fencing, the security. Um, got Vortex to do the fireworks. This is one, I think, of two uh, fireworks shows here in Salt Lake on 4th of July. 
This event is first class. It's the first of its kind here at Liberty Park in Salt Lake City. Much love, Sione. You did a hell of a job. This is Graham Smargan, and I'm telling you, Bula Fest 2011, that is, because we're going to have it next year and the year after that and the year after that, God's willing. But trust me, I want to thank the NFL right now for the lockout because we had the Bula Fest. So, enough respect to Sione and, you know, everybody, Katie, his wife, and his children for making that sacrifice and working so hard to put together a festival like this for reggae music to be displayed on a professional level. The production was amazing. And, you know, now we need a lockout to open up so we can do it next year, all right? So, Sione, thank you for having me. Graham Smogan, I love you, brother. Enough respect. Can't explain how I felt, man. I just really, really wanted to drop a tear a couple of times. I had to contain myself because the fact uh, I'm so happy, so proud, um, but still, uh, you know, humbled that we had this opportunity to live in this great nation and, uh, you know, deserve to, to respect the liberties that we have, man. So it was great. <laughs> 